welcome to another work week in my life. I'm really excited to be getting back into filming these videos. I used to love filming these videos in college and I haven't been filming them as much recently, but I'm excited. I filmed one a few weeks ago and it was so fun. How is this? Look at this. Hello? That is not cut in half. This isn't even gonna fit in my toaster. Okay, whatever. <laughs> But happy Monday, I'm really excited for this week. We are starting this week on a good note. I actually meal planned for this week, so I know exactly what I want all my meals to be and what I want my lunches to be for work every day this week. Just so exciting because I always say that I'm gonna do that and then I never actually do. And on top of that, I was actually disciplined enough to get out of bed on time this morning. So it's about 7.45 and I actually have time this morning to cook breakfast and eat it. I've been so, so bad recently about like getting out of bed on time. I think it's because it's getting chillier, which like I'm so excited about. I'm so excited for fall, but it's getting chillier, which means it's like harder to get out of bed because it's so warm and cozy in bed and it's like, ooh, I don't want to get up. But if you guys missed my last video, I actually decorated my apartment for fall. That's what these little leaves are. And it just looks so cute in here. It doesn't look too, too different because like obviously the chairs didn't move. Like all of my furniture stayed the same. And like some of the bigger things, like my plants didn't change. But we just updated some things and made it look a little bit more like fall themed. We've got some updated decor and that kind of stuff so if you haven't seen that video i will link it up in the cards and then down in the description below as well so you guys can go check that out because i had so so much fun with that video this is also going to be an exciting week because i am preparing for my first ever work trip yum delish if you guys are new here or if you didn't know, I live and work down in Washington, D.C. I started my job down here about six-ish months ago, seven months ago. And I am so, so excited because next week, next Monday, I am leaving for my first ever work trip. We're going to New York City, which is so exciting. I've never been on a work trip before and it's been years since I've been in New York City. So I am very, very excited. So I'm anticipating that this week is going to be pretty crazy busy because we are getting ready for that trip. We have a bunch of stuff that we need to like bring to New York, ship to New York before we get there and just like a bunch of stuff that we need to prep in general. So I'm really excited for this week and I think it's gonna be a fun and exciting week to vlog. Although who knows, it could end up being the worst week to vlog because if it's busy at work, I might come home and just like not have any energy left, but we'll see. I just made a little blueberry bagel with cream cheese and some mixed berry jelly. I'm going to eat breakfast and get ready for work. Oh my God, I never have this much time. I'm usually like, honestly, I'm probably still snoozing my alarm most days at this point, but I tried to go to bed a little bit early last night. So healthy habits for the fall. <laughs> we are leaving on time today, guys. This is so exciting. If you guys have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I have always kind of struggled with like being exactly on time. I'm usually running like three to five minutes late, but I'm actually leaving on time today. I'm so, so excited. Okay, I've got my planner, phone, gum, chapstick, pass i forgot my pass on friday our like building is um like key card access and i forgot my key card on friday and i had to do a little like ring the doorbell like stand outside the door in shame while someone came to open the door for me so i want to make sure i have my pass today i'm also just gonna pack up my lunch really quick that i made last night here is the fit for the day i think it looks so cute i will link both of these down below both of these are from amazon but i just got this cute little like hunter green button-up shirt i actually got this in the last week of my life that i did and then i'm wearing my like cream colored work pants that i got last year today for lunch this is what I had for dinner last night. We've got mashed potatoes and broccoli and then pesto chicken. And we are ready to go. I'm heading out. Let's have a great Monday.
guys, we're home from work. I've been home for a little while. I changed into my comfy clothes and I've just been hanging out. I just lit my first fall candle of the season. It's one of the ones that I got from Home Goods, I believe. It smells just like apples. It smells so, so good. I'm actually really excited too because I broke a candle yesterday while I was cleaning my apartment and like finishing decorating. And it smelled so strong and I'm just excited to kind of like clear that smell out. I was going to try to save it, but I ended up just throwing it away, which is kind of sad because I'd only burned it one time, but oh well, fallen soldier. Anyway, it is 8 p.m. I am just sitting here on the couch. I've got a little show on and I brought my laptop over because I want to just get some like administrative tasks done. I have a bunch of emails that I need to answer and I have a bunch of comments that I need to respond to. I was gonna cook tonight, but um, I am really like not all that hungry. And I actually ended up having leftovers that I got for lunch on Friday and then I left them in the office for over the weekend, but I brought them home today. So I'm gonna ha just have those for dinner, I think, instead of cooking anything. Cause like I said, it's already 8 p.m. I'm kind of just feeling like settled in, like the cozy vibes for the night. So that is my plan. I am going to just get some work done while I watch my show. I'm watching like old episodes of The Rookie. If you guys were here last summer and sort of like the beginning of this year. You guys know I love The Rookie. It's one of my favorite TV shows ever. And I just love having it on like in the background while I'm getting some other stuff done. So anyway, that's my plan for tonight. I'm just gonna be working on this stuff the rest of the night. I'm gonna try and go to bed kind of early tonight because I was a little bit tired when I woke up this morning. So I'm gonna try to go to bed early, catch up on my sleep a little bit so I can prepare and get ready for this work trip that's coming up next week. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. Um, I was gonna say good morning, but it's not morning. I actually just got home from work. It's a little bit past 6.30. The sun is going down in less than an hour and I wanna try and get outside before the sun goes down today. So I'm just changing out of my work outfit really quick. I'm just gonna put on some little like athleisure clothes and head up to my rooftop. I do have a bunch of stuff that I need to get done like on my computer, but it's just kind of gonna have to wait until like 45 minutes from now because the days are getting shorter and I wanna try and like soak up as much of the sunshine as I can before like winter sets in. I'm really excited about fall. I love fall, but one of my least favorite things is how fast. It, the days get shorter. Trying to keep the good energy, keep the vitamin D levels up. I was gonna vlog this morning, but um, I ended up not having time, so it's pretty on brand for me, actually. So anyway, I'm going to change out of my work clothes, and we're gonna head up to the roof, and I think I'm just gonna read for a little bit. I've got a couple different book options. I'm trying to decide, like, Whoa. what book I want to read. I'm in the middle of two books right now, but neither one of them I'm really loving. I'm currently in the middle of In a New York Minute and this one called Magpie. This one I'm only like 24 pages in, I think. This one I'm a little bit further. I'm about... 43 pages into this one, but I don't know. Neither one of these are really like grabbing me the way that I thought they would, so... I'm either going to continue reading one of these or I might start reading a new one. There's like no shot that I'm gonna make my 30 books goal this year, so whatever. But I have three other options that I might pick up and start. First one is called See You Yesterday. This is by Rachel Lynn Solomon. I got this like months ago, but I've been saving this for fall because it takes place during the beginning of a school year and that's obviously in the fall, so I think this would be really good for like the season and the timing. There's also these two new books that I got at Target the other day, which feel very fall themed. This one is called The Wishing Game. Doesn't actually have anything to do with fall, but the cover is very like fall and Halloween-y. Maybe I'll save this for October. Yeah, this is gonna be saved for October. But then there's also You'll Be the Death of Me by Karen M. McManus. This is a murder mystery. You guys know I love my murder mysteries, but I think this would be a good one to read like during the daytime. I get spooked really easily. I've actually been spooked the last two nights at home. Like I get kind of creeped out randomly and it's hard harder when I live alone because like there's no one to really like, you know, go talk to when you're feeling creeped out. Like at home, if you live with other people, you can be like, oh, hey, like, I'm feeling kind of scared and weird for no reason. Like, can I hang out with you? But I live here by myself, so 
it's kind of weird. But this one looks really good and I love Karen I. McManus. I love her writing style, but maybe this would also be better for October. I don't know. This one kind of seems fun. I think I might start reading this one. Yeah, I think I'm going to start reading this one. Anyway, I'm going to change and go to the roof and start reading a new book. <laughs> influencer light. I have this little like clip on light that I put on my camera for when it's dark in my apartment. But this is like as dim as it gets and I wish it was like a little bit less bright because I feel like it makes it look so dark behind me but I guess I could just turn on a light. <laughs> anyway, um, we're back from the rooftop. The sun has gone down. It's dark outside. I am just getting some work done, like some YouTube work. My editor sent me a cut of the last work week in my life that I did. So I am just going to watch through that. And then I'm also going to, I think, try and respond to some more comments and respond to some more emails, just like slowly working my way through those things. I was able to go to bed last night at like 10.30. I think I was asleep by 11 and it was so glorious. So I'm gonna try and do that again tonight. It's currently about 8.15, so I think we can do it. I haven't made dinner yet. I did just have a little snack. I had some of these cheesy grooves. These are so good. But I'm trying not to like snack too much so that I can actually like cook healthy meals instead of just snacking my way through my life. I did go grocery shopping yesterday. Uh, no, on Sunday. What day did I go grocery shopping? It was Sunday. So I have plenty of stuff. I just need to actually like decide what I want to make. I think I had plans to make a pasta dish. So I might do that. Yeah, I'm going to finish doing um, my work for YouTube and then maybe we'll do a little like a little mini chefing with Charlotte. I won't count it as a full chefing with Charlotte because I'm not trying a new recipe. I've already made it before, like multiple times. I've actually made it before on the vlog. It's the, um, I call it Morgan pasta because my roommate Morgan from college introduced me to it and she's the one that like taught me the recipe. So I call it Morgan pasta, but it's really just like angel hair pasta with like sliced up cherry tomatoes and Parmesan cheese. Anyway, that's the plan. Whether or not that actually happens tonight remains to be seen. I'm gonna watch this video really quick. It's like half an hour long, so, you know, we gotta finish that first. <laughs> Dinner is ready. 
I've made this a couple of other times on the vlog. I love making this because it's so easy for dinner. It's so simple, but then I also like to make it because it's easy to make a lot of it and then I can have it for dinner tonight and then lunch tomorrow at work. Honestly, I made a lot of it so I might be able to have it for dinner tomorrow night too, but I will find a similar recipe and link that down in the description if you guys want to try this out. It's literally so simple. Bon appetit. <laughs> Cheers. It's so good. I don't think I went heavy enough on the tomatoes, but that's okay. This is literally one of my favorite recipes ever. Good morning, guys. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Thank God. Happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday morning. I am currently trying to get a few things done before I need to leave. It's about 8.20. I am trying to upload the video from last night that I was reviewing because I tried to upload it last night and then I got like a flag on my like pre-upload that said the music I'm using is copyrighted which is not true well it is true but I have like a subscription to the service so it should not be flagged as copyrighted because I pay a significant amount of money <laughs> to access the music on this site and it's never been flagged as copyrighted before so I need to contact them to get it fixed but it wouldn't be fixed in time to upload it so I just switched out the music and I'm hoping that it's gonna be you know better this time so I'm currently I had to get up this morning and like switch out the copyrighted portion of the music in the vlog switch it over to a new song that I'm hoping is okay we're kind of on a timeline because I don't bring my personal computer into the office with me and today's my last day of going to the office for work this week. So if it's not done by the time I leave, it's not getting done until like 7 p.m., which is not ideal. Anyway, good morning, that's what I'm up to. I made a little chai latte. I'm so obsessed with this stuff. This is the Tazo like tea concentrate. I get the decaf chai latte because I don't, caffeine makes me nauseous. But this is such a good alternative because I don't drink coffee and I always feel so much FOMO when everyone's like, let's make my coffee for the morning. I'm like, I can't do that. But I finally have a thing. I put them in my little like Michigan wine glasses. I need to get some good like, you know what? I actually don't. I've been thinking about this. I was like, oh, I should get those like aesthetic cups and the, like the glass straws because they look cuter but this works perfectly fine. I don't need to like over consume for the aesthetic, you know? I also just dropped a pretty penny on all of my uh, fall decorations and I just bought my plane ticket down to New Orleans to go to the Eras tour. So wallets hurting a little bit right now and we're trying to save a little bit of money. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make my thumbnail while this is uploading and then hopefully this one doesn't get any like copyright restrictions and I can get this video posted for you guys. So I'm gonna try and make this thumbnail. I also need to eat breakfast at some point, but I can do it all in 20 minutes. got it done and I am leaving like a little bit somewhat on time which is exciting just quickly packing lunch for the day this is just the leftover pasta that I made last night I'm also grabbing one of these protein bars for breakfast I just get these at Harris Teeter which is where I do my groceries here is the fit for the day this is a new sweater I got this from Kohl's I actually really really like this it's a little bit oversized but I wanted it to be oversized in case I ever wanted to wear it on top of like a button up or something but I think it's really cutie. I just got a pair of blue jeans on as well and clothes, phone, lunchbox, um, keys are by the door. So I'm gonna head out to work and I will see you guys afterwards. My eyes can help looking at you right now. So much emotion. Just pick your poison. Is every move you make even allowed? Can't get enough. I tried my best to look away, but I can't stop. Am I afraid to you? We almost had Hi guys. It is 7:30 and I am just walking in the door. I'm 
so tired and I can't wait to just change into my sweatpants and sit on my couch and watch a few episodes of some TV. I had such a long day. It was a good day. Like there was, it was fine. It was just so long. I've got so much stuff that I had to bring home to because I'm working from home for the rest of the week. So I had to bring home all of the stuff that I normally do, like my computer and my work phone and all of my chargers and everything, which I normally just leave at the office if I know I'm going back. But then because I won't be at the office again before my work trip next week, I also had to bring home a bunch of stuff for the trip. So my bag is filled to the brim. We got a bunch of new company t-shirts today. I can't show you them because they have our logo all over. Over it and it was such a pain in the ass to try and blur the logo out the last time that I accidentally wore a t-shirt in the vlog so shout out to my editor for fixing that <laughs> but we got new company t-shirts we got them in blue and black so I brought home a bunch of these my bag like stuffed full to the brim with stuff what are you guys honking about the traffic I don't know what the deal was but the traffic coming home today was so much worse than usual. And you can probably hear people honking down there like nobody's in a good mood right now. But I'm so excited to be home. I'm probably gonna leave this sweater on because it's actually really, really comfy, but I'm going to change out of my jeans ASAP Rocky. Good morning guys, happy Thursday. I am working from home today. It is about 10.30 in the morning. I tried to get dressed this morning, so I'm just wearing like some athleisure stuff. That's one of my things that I've been trying to do recently is like get dressed, even if it's comfy clothes, try to like change out of my PJs on the days that I work from home because I find that I'm more productive that way. But I'm currently just getting some work done. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I still need to get done to prepare for this work trip next week that I keep talking about, but I'm so excited. We're going to New York City for three days for this work trip and I can't wait. I think it's gonna be so fun, but it's been a couple years since I've been in New York City. I think I already said that earlier in the vlog. So I'm just really excited, but I do need to call my doctor's office because I accidentally scheduled an appointment for the same day that we're leaving. I scheduled it back in April before I knew we were going on this trip and it just so happened that it's the exact same time. So I need to call the doctor's office and reschedule that appointment. I hate calling doctor's offices. I always get so anxious about it. So I'm just gonna call before I get nervous. I tried to reschedule it online, but uh, that didn't work. <laughs> It just says no available times are found, so I have to call them, which kind of blows. Thank you for choosing Johns Hopkins. If this is a life-threatening emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Good morning. Uh, my name is Charlotte Pratt. I have an appointment on Monday that I need to reschedule. All set. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You have a good day. You too. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> right. I had to turn off the camera, that's how long I was on hold. <laughs> uh, but the appointment is rescheduled for February of next year. <laughs> I'm shaking though, that's how much I hate calling the doctor's office. I don't know where it comes from. I'm on my phone all the time. I literally talk to a camera for half of my living. Like I post myself all over the internet. I was a theater kid in high school. I have no stage fright of like getting up and performing in front of people. Like I talk to you guys. There's like almost 50,000 people that have subscribed to my YouTube channel. Like I post on TikTok all the time. All the time's a stretch. But like there's no reason that I should have such bad anxiety about like a phone call. But um, here we are. I'm a mystery that cannot be solved. So anyway, that's done. Um, check that out the old to-do list. I am going to keep working, get some stuff done. I actually have a bunch of stuff that I need to do. So I kind of need to like lock in and keep working, but I get to do it from home. So live, laugh, love, work from home days. Team, 
It's, I'm still not wearing my watch. It's 6.30, I am calling it a day on work. I was actually so productive today. It was a big win for me because sometimes I struggle to focus when I work from home, but I think I just like had a lot going on this morning and this whole day, so um, we were super productive. Anyway, I'm gonna head back up to my roof and read again. I did that earlier in the week and it was just so nice and my book is so good, so. The sun is gonna set in like less than an hour, so I wanna get up there and read before the sun goes down. But I got an exciting package that I wanted to open and show you guys. I'm pretty sure that this is all of the makeup that I ordered for the Eras Tour. I am so excited. Um, so if you guys didn't know, I am going to the Eras Tour at the end of October with my mom. I am so, so excited. And we are both planning on doing um, 1989 inspired looks, I guess. We're gonna, we're gonna match me and my mom. If you guys have seen some of my older videos, if you've kind of like been around my channel for a long time, you guys know my mom is like one of my best friends. She is just like, she's just awesome. And I'm really excited to be going with her. And I'm excited that we're gonna be doing matching eras. So the other day I ordered a bunch of makeup from ColourPop online, which I've never tried before, but they get good reviews, I think. And uh, it wasn't too expensive. Everything was on sale. So that was a big win. First up, the star of the show is this eyeshadow palette. I am so excited about this. This is the On Cloud Blue color palette. Not color palette, eyeshadow palette. I am so excited about this. This is a blue eyeshadow palette. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh my God. Okay, the pans are a lot smaller than I thought they'd be, but that's honestly fine because I'm probably not gonna be wearing these colors a whole lot, but I am so excited about this. I think it's gonna be really pretty. I've been kind of like putting together some looks that I think would be fun. So that's the star of the show is the eyeshadow palette. I also got two like single eyeshadows that aren't in a palette to kind of match. These are the super shock shadows. I'm not a beauty guru. I know almost nothing about makeup, so this could all be wrong. But these are like super glittery single shadows. They're super sparkly. Are you even gonna be able to see? There we go. Look at that. So this one is the shade Tassel. This is like um, off-white a little bit. This one is called Ladybird. <gasps> no! Oh my God, I just dropped it. Please be okay. I think it's okay. It's like mostly fine. This one is like this really pretty like gold. It was, it looked more gold on the website, but it's kind of like this gold champagne-y kind of color, it looks like. So those are the three eyeshadows that I got, and then I also... What is wrong with me today? Relax! I got three smaller things. First up, I got a brow pencil because I prefer pencil over gel. I don't really have, like, a lot going on in the eyebrow department, so gel usually makes them feel, like, really stiff and kind of weird. I don't know, personal preference. Um, so this is just a pencil. It's got a spoolie on one end and the color pencil on the other end. I also got two different eyeliners. I got this black liquid eyeliner and I am actually so terrified for this because I never wear eyeliner. Even when I do like full glam, I never wear eyeliner because it kind of low-key scares me. Look at that. And then last up, I also got this white gel eyeliner to line my like under my like bottom waterline. Again, not normal for me, not something I've ever done before, but looks pretty, should be fun. That is the haul. I'm going to do a series over on my Instagram and my TikTok where I try out a bunch of different like makeup and hair and outfits. Have you guys help me decide what I want to wear to the Eras Tour. I'll link both of those accounts, my Instagram and my TikTok down in the description below so you guys can go follow along with that series. I'm gonna do a whole Eras Tour vlog, but it's I want you guys to be able to help me decide beforehand and that's only gonna be on Instagram and TikTok. The full vlog will be on YouTube after. Now I'm gonna go grab my book and grab my keys and my water bottle and head up to the balcony or the uh, rooftop of my building and catch some of the sun before it goes down for the night. Hi 
happy friday we made it to the end of the work week it is about 5 p.m i just finished everything that i need to do for the day so i'm officially done with work for this week i made a mobile order earlier today at target and michael's i had a few things that i needed to pick up and they are ready for me to go get them so we are going to head out and go grab those things and then i'll show you guys what i got when we get back i'm wearing my 1989 taylor's version crew neck because they are related to my like eras tour adventure obviously i showed you guys the makeup that i ordered yesterday but i ordered a pair of false lashes and some glue at target that we were gonna go pick up and i think when i get back i'm gonna try and film the first episode of my like figuring out my eras tour outfit series for my instagram and tiktok and i want to try and get that done before the sun goes down and the lighting gets bad so we've got about two hours no time to waste let's head out to target and michael's and pick up the orders stop thinking that I'm somehow smarter than my GPS because I am not. There was a crash on the highway coming home and the GPS told me to go home a way that I'd never been before. And I was like, mm. I pick up my target order. I put the directions home in my GPS. It says it's gonna take 25 minutes when it usually only takes about 15. I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. Like it's a Friday, there shouldn't be that much traffic. It's past rush hour. Like I wonder what's going on. It tells me to go a way that I've never gone before. And I was like, mm no actually like i know what i'm doing i'll be able to just like get on the easy pass express lane and skip all the traffic on 395 no so i d intentionally keep going straight when the gps told me to take an exit and i watched the estimated like arrival time jump from 19 minutes until i was supposed to get home to 27. i was like oh it's fine, it's fine. Like once I get to the highway, I'll be able to get on the express lane and like avoid all this traffic because that's what I'm usually able to do. And it didn't dawn on me until I merged onto the highway that I was merging onto the highway a, like a half a mile after the express lane entrance had come and gone. So I was not in fact able to get on the express lane and I just sat in traffic. I'm thinking I'm gonna be all smart and cutesy and skip the line gridlock. So that was not fun, but we're home now and I have all of my stuff that I'm going to show you guys really quick. First things first, I don't actually have like a tabletop mirror, which seems weird because I have so many mirrors in this apartment, but I didn't have one. So I just got this one at Target. It's gold to match all of my other mirrors. I also got, like I mentioned, some stuff for falsies for my Eras Tour look. So for actual false lashes, I got the Ardell Professional Wispies. This is a six pack. And then for eyelash glue, this is the brand that I got. This was recommended to me by my friend Erin. She likes this brand because I guess it comes with a brush so you can like make brushing the glue onto your falsies easier. Um, fun fact about me, I don't know how to do false eyelashes at all. And I'm probably going to get like disproportionately frustrated trying to put these on, so. That should be a fun little experiment for everybody. <laughs> then last up at Michael's, they did not have my beads that I wanted, which was disappointing. So I'm just gonna have to get those either at a different Michael's or online, but they did have super glue, which I needed. Partially a win, partially a loss. But anyway, that's the haul. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to do my makeup tonight because the sun went down as I was sitting in traffic. <laughs> so I might just save that for tomorrow, the weekend. You know what, we'll see. Maybe I will end up doing it tonight. Either way, I'm not gonna do it right now because I want the lighting to be consistent the whole time. So either I'll wait until tomorrow when the sun is back out or I'll do it tonight, but like after the sun fully goes down and I'll just use my little influencer light. You guys can see how well it works. Look at this difference. 
anyway I think last thing that I want to do to kind of like round out this Friday night is make some cookies for fall and for the weekend last couple of nights I have been craving something sweet after dinner and I haven't had anything I got these the last time that I went grocery shopping and I'm actually really excited to try them these are pumpkin spice sugar cookies fun fact about me is that I am actually atrocious at baking pre-made pre-cut dough seems like anyone should be able to do it i've never actually tried this flavor before i like the toll house like chocolate chip cookies but i've never tried the pumpkin spice ones i feel like they're either gonna be really good or like gross <laughs> let's just give it a try we'll round out this week with a batch of pizza. one to celebrate Friday night and we are gonna taste test these I ended up leaving them in the oven for like almost double the amount of time they said to because each time I checked on them they still looked raw so they might have gotten like a little bit overcooked but that's okay they're still like they're kind of crunchy on the outside and it looks like they're still kind of like soft on the inside so let's give this a taste test cheers They're good. They're really good. It's got like little white chocolate chips in there. So it kind of tastes like a pumpkin muffin with cream cheese, like a little bit. 100% would recommend. Like I said, I don't do a lot of baking, so I don't make this kind of stuff from scratch. And I typically don't like buy this kind of stuff, but I think these are so fun. So easy too. It's like the perfect amount of skill level required for me. I am probably gonna have a few more of these and maybe put on a movie, but I think that's gonna do it for this one. It is 8 p.m. There's a Michigan football game tomorrow on Saturday, so I'm going to go to bed early so that I can wake up a little bit early and start preparing for that. I'm trying to decide if I wanna film a weekend in my life this weekend because I think it could be fun. I'm doing a bunch of fun things this weekend, so potentially I'll see you guys tomorrow. For you guys, it'll probably be the next video, but for me filming, it'll be tomorrow. If you guys enjoyed coming along with me for this week in my life, make sure you leave a like on it for me down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also leave me a comment down below and let me know what videos you guys wanna see this fall. I am so much in the fall spirit right now. I just decorated my entire apartment for fall. I just made these fall cookies. Let me know down in the comments if there are any specific videos that you guys wanna see from me this fall. I'm like hot, it's hot over here by the oven. But that's gonna be it for this one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. So better stands this night away.